Hey, Kyle here from Growing Up Garden. Today I'm breaking ground on my new garden and I'm gonna show you how I turn this bare piece of land into an amazing vegetable garden. Before we start, I wanted to ask you for a huge favor. Can you please subscribe to my YouTube channel? It doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps me out a lot. So the first thing I wanted to do is share a little bit of history on how I got started into gardening and let you guys know a little bit about me and my family. So I am 37 years old and I've been growing food for over 11 years. I've got two beautiful children, Lily, who is eight years old, and Blake, who is six, and they are my garden helpers. Now my beautiful wife, Jasmine, who does not like being on camera, is also a big help with the garden. She harvests all the produce and then she prepares it to be used in our many uh, dinners during the growing season. So my first attempt at a garden was pretty pathetic. I started back in 2010 with some tomatoes I bought at Orchard Supply Hardware and some cheap plastic pots, and I didn't even buy any kind of potting soil to plant them in. I just dug up some dirt from the yard and threw the tomatoes in the pots and guess what they didn't do very well that year but you know what it was a start and the reason i started trying to grow tomatoes myself is because i had some homegrown tomatoes from my wife's grandfather and i loved them so much that i decided you know what i need to grow these things for myself because the ones in the store taste terrible so that's what really got me started ever since then it's just gotten bigger and better every year so another big factor for me getting into gardening was my health. I weighed about 288 pounds back in 2013, and I was just starting to learn about healthy ways of eating. I started incorporating more fresh fruits and vegetables, and the garden played a big role in helping me get more of those in. I also stumbled across John Kohler's YouTube channels back then, uh, at first, it was his juicing channel because I was going to be buying a new juicer. And uh, so I learned all about juicers from him there. And then I realized, oh, he's got a gardening channel. So I started watching that and I realized, oh, man, he's growing all these leafy greens and he's not spending a fortune at the store buying leafy greens. So that's another reason I ramped up my gardening is because of John Culler. He's been an, a big help to me. And he's actually really helped me uh, get a lot healthier from all of his information that he put out on YouTube. So thank you, John. So our whole family mostly sticks to a whole food, plant-based diet. We do like to occasionally eat the, uh, you know, vegan junk food once in a while. So in 2015, I removed this tree that was in my front yard. It was actually destroying my driveway and messing up my sewer lines. So the tree had to go to make way for my new garden bed. So when building the beds, I just basically piled up compost and I mixed all the sawdust and wood chips from the stump of the tree into the raised beds and then I covered the tops with some straw. I also started growing things on some trellises that were made simply by using some remesh, uh, concrete reinforcement, and some green stakes that I got at Home Depot. 2016, there were some more upgrades to the garden. I added some redwood raised beds to the front growing area using some reclaimed redwood decking. I also added some mulched walkways around the raised beds to make everything look nice and clean. Now in 2016, we actually met Josh Cunnings from the Boogie Brew Company. I don't know if you, if you guys don't know who Josh Cunnings is. He's always in uh, John Kohler's videos, and he has a company called Boogie Brew, and they sell a lot of different uh, gardening products and soil amendments. And I started incorporating a lot of these products in my garden that year, and man, the garden just flourished that year. Probably one of the most lush gardens I've ever had and it produced so much produce, it was insane. Uh, it was just a great year for gardening, and uh, I really had a blast building and working on the garden. This was also the year that I decided to start making YouTube videos, and I started my channel, and I just cannot believe it's already been five years since I started 
uploading videos to YouTube. Time sure flies when you're busy growing. 2017, we added two new members to our family, Pumpkin and Pepper, to help take care of some of those unwanted rats and mice that sometimes like to eat your produce in the garden. I added a few new things to the garden this year. I built a PVC arch over the entryway, and I made a trellis for my kagutsa gourds to grow on. I also built this raised bed using reclaimed redwood decking and fence boards that I got for free from my neighbors. So this year I did a fun experiment. I actually weighed all of the produce that came off of the garden and it weighed over a thousand pounds. Now I think that's pretty amazing for what space I had to work with. Now can you imagine if everybody in America grew their own garden in their front yard? We can all share produce with each other and we could save all kinds of money and we can skip going to the grocery store. The final thing I did to this garden was upgrade the front raised bed trellis by making a sturdy frame out of some 4x4s and some 2x4s to hold the wire remesh. That way the plants didn't blow over in a high wind storm uh, when they got too big and too heavy. So in 2018, 2019, and 2020, we experienced some extreme wildfires in our area and we had lots of ash falling in the gardens and we also experienced a fire really close to our house where I had to actually get up on the roof and wet it down because we had embers falling on it. 2020 what a heck of a year we got a new house and the old garden I was originally planning on tearing out but then I decided not to do that because the new house wouldn't be ready until after the growing season. So I decided to plant a few tomatoes. I planted a couple pepper plants. I threw some melon seed down and a couple zucchinis. And then the rest of the garden came up all volunteer. It's amazing what will grow if you just water established uh, garden beds. February 2021, I started taking out all of the plants and removing all of the trellises. I'm going to be repurposing all of these materials in the new garden, and I'm also making compost with all the material that I removed. So the old garden will live on. This is where I'm going to be planting my new garden. Now this backyard has never had anything back here. There's no irrigation. There was really just weeds back here when we bought the house. And the ground is extremely hard, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is breaking it up with the rototiller so we can actually work with it. So I just got done rototilling the garden area and this ground was so hard it was almost like tilling concrete. I had to go over it about 10 to 15 times just to break it up enough so we can uh, work with it. Now the spot in the middle is where someone had a swimming pool at one point and you could kind of see the remnants of like an old tarp and that area was the hardest area to till. I think it's because of the weight of the pool compressing the ground in that area um, but I got it broken up enough to where we can work with it so what I'm doing now is I'm pulling out uh, debris that I've been finding pieces of uh, concrete and uh, rocks and the old tarp from the swimming pool so here's all the stuff I've got so far plastic bottle stuff like that so I'm gonna get back to work and uh, finish pulling out all the debris. There's a bunch of it here. So that's it for today. For my next episode, I'm going to be adding 
four yards of compost and a hundred pounds of rock dust minerals to amend the soil in the garden. And I'm also going to go over what gardening products I like to use and what products I've used in the past. So before we end the video, please hit that like button and don't forget to share these videos with your family and friends. And also hit the notification bell so you can be notified and when I post my latest garden video. And with that said, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Oh yeah, and don't forget to check out my other videos here.